Hi, this is Minan from the Ballet Investing How To channel. Thank you for watching this up watching this video to get an update on Viacom. First, uh, I would have assumed that you have watched my previous video of how I touched the brake for analyze Viacom. If you haven't, what I'm gonna do is that or perhaps what I've done is that uh, I'll put the video link in the description box underneath so that you can watch first and before you come back to this video okay so to move on I've assumed that you have watched the first video so let us do a quick recap of what I first published on Bicom in July 2015 so what's the first thing that we need to look out for or perhaps I'll look out for is this particular age range any cars that cross between the 10th fear to 11th fear as of uh, 31st January 2015 the number of cars is 2211 as of today which is the date of recording it is 1st Feb 2017 almost one and a half years what is the car population at this particular, particular uh, range so let us head to the stats you see that it has risen from 2,200 to or almost 29,000 vehicles. So that's, all, uh, that's quite a huge increase. And what's the significance uh, of perhaps tracking these numbers is that it gives me additional knowledge that, hey, should I continue to hold, buy, or sell? Okay. But I'm not going to do any recommendation here. What I'm just looking forward to is these three groups of car population. The 7 to 8, 8 to 9, and 9 to 10. Okay. If you add all these three numbers, that's almost like 270,000 cars. As a percentage of the total car population as of 31st December 216, that's almost like 40%. Yeah. So, Going forward on 15th of every month, I'll still continue to look at this particular number and that's how I do my uh, analysis on Bicom. And I look forward to the next update probably another year later to revisit these numbers again. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.